Now, this is about the restoration of statehood to Jammu and Kashmir top court. The top court has agreed to hear a plea on the same. The plea is about the restoration, saying that it must be time-bound. Uh, this is just a day after the new government has taken charge in Jammu and Kashmir. It's a push for restoration of statehood. Remember, the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act uh, had been passed by parliament in 2019, August. Now, under Article 370 of the Constitution itself, that is where Jammu and Kashmir had enjoyed special state status. But it had been revoked in 2019. Now, this is the latest when it comes to the demand for statehood. In fact, this had been one of the major plank polls on which the National Conference and the Congress had been campaigning, especially when it comes to the Jammu and Kashmir elections that had taken place after a decade. Now, yesterday itself was the swearing-in of the new Chief Minister, Omar Abdullah, and one of the key promises of the National Conference and Congress combined had been the restoration of statehood in Jammu and Kashmir. Now, the top court has agreed to hear the plea. The plea is seeking that the restoration must be in a time-bound manner. But this is not the first time that this has been brought up. In fact, Home Minister Amit Shah just months ago had also spoken about the restoration of statehood, saying that it would be brought in soon. I'm crossing over to my colleague Harish to bring us more on this. Harish, tell us more about what the plea says. led by the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, who was also uh, part of the uh, bench which heard the petitions uh, in seeking, uh, challenging the abrogation of Article 370. Uh, today, uh, in fact, I agreed to hear the plea seeking restoration of Jammu and Kashmir statehood. The petition has been filed by Advocate Gopal Shankar Narayanan requesting the court to restore the uh, state, uh, statehood, uh, Jammu and Kashmir statehood. A plea seeking a time-bound restoration of statehood to Jammu and Kashmir was mentioned in the Supreme Court today for urgent hearing, and the Apex Court has agreed to hear the matter. Uh, Gopal Shankar Narayan represents the applicant requested an urgent hearing before a bench led by Chief Justice, along with, uh, in fact, uh, the, 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 you remember the Supreme Court had in its judgment uh, noted that uh, steps should be taken to restore statehood, but no deadline had been set by uh, the Supreme Court. Uh, even the uh, solicitor general Tushar Mehta, who appeared for the centre, had told the court that yes, we will take steps to restore statehood, but we can't uh, set a deadline for ourselves. I can't uh, give a time frame. So these petitioners are asking the court to uh, set a deadline for the centre to restore uh, statehood to Jammu and Kashmir, an issue which has been raging after the election, uh, assembly elections. Back to you. All right, Rish, do stay with us as we understand that you're tracking more developments.